technique um, traders use to identify buy or sell signals using moving averages are crossovers, meaning when her term uh, moving average crosses above the slower or longer term moving average, that tends to be um, a buy signal, a, a bullish signal that indicates, hey, um, there is some increasing uh, um, uh, momentum uh, and increasing uh, 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 sort of slope of the trend line uh, that we should be paying attention to and, and that could uh, lead to some further gains, okay? We'll look at some examples uh, here. You know, which, which moving averages should we, or which time frame, or sorry, not time frame, but time horizon should we use, right? The shorter moving averages, and this applies to both the simple and the exponential moving averages, the shorter sort of time horizon, sort of in this case, five, 10, 20 day, um, will identify an emerging trend sooner, okay? So that's the positive. Using the shorter term moving averages, will help you catch a potential trend early and that leaves more upside potential. The downside of that is that there is, you will have more false breakouts or false signals uh, because you're trying to catch them early um, and early on could be uh, just a head fake, okay? The medium or longer term moving averages, so the 20, 30, 50, 100, 200 day moving averages, um, are slower moving. So they will help you identify trends that are more established or even in the later stages, which is great in that you will not have uh, head fakes, false breakouts or force, uh, false signals as often, but uh, you will have given up a lot of the upside already because you will catch the trend in the later stages, all right? So that, those are sort of the, the pros and cons of each. Now, what I have found as a good compromise, and I'm not the only one, but uh, many traders uh, like to trade, uh, sort of a compromise would be using the EMA 12 and EMA 50 for crossover signals. The EMA 12 is not the shortest one, but it's relatively sensitive to price changes. An EMA 50 is sort of a mid, mid, uh, mid term moving average that, that shows us, you know, it already captures the trend uh, relatively well. And so combining those two can give us some, some decent setups of catching the trend relatively early, but not too early, um, and, and leaving some decent upside uh, uh, as well. Now, let's, uh, let's see how we could do that. How do we? screen coins for such crossovers. So we're back at the screener and I'm going to go to moving, sorry, moving averages. We're talking about the EMA 12 crossing above EMA 50, right? Within the last five intervals, add that filter. And that's it, that's the basic, basic building block of this. Now, as I typically do, I will also add another filter to make sure that it's relatively in an uptrend. So the price is above, in the longer term, uh, the price is above the simple moving average, 200 day moving average, also market cap. So I'm not uh, too far in the weeds in a, in a tiny cap, micro cap land. Um, so I added those two things and, and one other sort of fine tuning criteria is that, you know, what, what we have here is an EMA 12 day has crossed over above the EMA 50. Oh, let's go ahead and apply it. All right. Now let's look at the charts and let's add these analytics to the chart so we can see the right analytics. You can say show filter on the chart. All right, uh, some things uh, are not needed here. And uh, so we have EMA 12 and I'll add EMA 50, okay? Now, uh, you'll notice in some cases, the EMA 12, the green, bright green one, 
This one is still trending nicely up. This one is kind of breaking already. Well, this is a stable coin. Uh, this is irrelevant. But my point is that I'm going to add another filter criteria to say I want to make sure that that EMA 12, that that moving average is still pointed up and not sort of flat or breaking down. Because that would indicate sort of losing momentum. So there's one other cherry on the top that I'm going to put, which is that EMA trend. So this meaning the slope, is it this way, that way? The slope of the EMA 12, I want it to be higher than 0%, right? I want it to be in, you know, still positively rising. That eliminated really not much in terms of the filter criteria or, or the results, all right? I'm going to save this again. And this is my EMA 1250 crossover, actually uh, bullish crossover, okay? Because we, we will we'll do a bearish one as well. Save, fantastic. Again, then you can come back to that filter in the future or you can go to the signal summary and jump to these results from there. Um, but let's, uh, let's take a look. Here we got um, XRP, Ripple, right? Recent crossover here. And the price seems to be trending higher. Now, these will be, will be a longer lasting trades. These, we're not going to be in and out of, of, of these altcoins on a daily basis. These will be, these trades may last weeks, even, even longer. So let's take a bigger picture here for Ripple here uh, to demonstrate how that would have done just in the recent history one year chart here. So let's examine here. Uh, this is a bearish crossover. So somewhere somewhere here, we would have gotten a bullish crossover here around, you know, call it 25 cents. Beautifully captured the upside. Now you didn't sell on the top if you follow the, the rule, which is exiting when the slow, uh, shorter term moving average crossed below the longer term, which would have been here around 33 cents. So you would have gone from, you know, capture the 25 to 33 cents. Now you may have used other indicators to get you out sooner than that, but just using this would have gotten you still decent, you know, 30% upside. Then you would have done nothing unless you actually short as well, but let's pretend you, we don't do anything on the short side, just on the bullish side. You would have gotten you into the trade again here, somewhere around 50 cents. You would have to go through these ups and down swings, hang in there, it didn't quite cross over, and then major massive gain right here, right? Again, you wouldn't have sold it right on the top, but you would have sold it you know, for pretty decent gains, right? Um, now, this is what happens with this strategy. Uh, a lot of times you will have false crossovers. Uh, in fact, you may uh, many times lose a little bit of money actually with these, but then it'll get you into a trade that will have a massive upside. Now, notice, I mean, this trade lasted from February through May, end of May. I mean, we're talking months, right? Um, and then again, nothing. No crossover for a long time until here. Now, again, we didn't get it on, on the complete bottom, right? Let's, uh, let's circle that. We didn't get in here. Yeah, that would have been nice. But I mean, dream on. Um, we, we wouldn't have gotten in here with this strategy. We would have gotten in here, right here. Um, but it's okay. Again, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to happily give up this, this, uh, this upside um, to, to kind of get in on the, a more established trend is what uh, this strategy helps you do. Um, and notice the other thing is that this crossover happened above the prior high, right? Higher highs, higher lows. And, and that's what you can then you know, layer on sort of that knowledge that you just learned. Are we making higher highs, higher lows, at least for a couple of swings? Looks like we are. This was a higher high. 
This was in fact already a higher low. And so this, uh, this crossover uh, seemed quite legit. I mean, hindsight 2020 is easy, obviously going back, but it, it um, um, you, it, I warn you, you will have um, breakouts that won't work, right? The, the crossovers that won't work. But again, you've gotten in, you would have gotten into the trade here and wrote it until until the crossover bearish crossover happened right here. You know, so from about seventy cents to about a dollar and change, not bad. Now uh, here recently we've got that crossover, which is why we have it in our filter here around the dollar. And, and I think, uh, let's see, let's clear everything else. Um, you know, that looks like a legit crossover. 